Never Stop Learning, week 161. I'm going to show you a quick way to use the recolor artwork feature to assign spot colors to the process colors in your artwork. So here I have a couple artboards set up. In the upper left, this is just a scratch paper with a couple elements. Over in the upper right, I have the grayscale version of my artwork. And down here at the bottom, I have a couple different colorways that I'm working with my client on. So the one we landed on was this guy right here. This is the one we're going to send off to a screen printer to be printed onto some t-shirts. So I'm going to double click on this and just target this object. I'm going to bring up my appearance panel, target this fill, and when I shift click on this thumbnail, it's showing me that this is actually a process color. So it's using CMYK plates to create this color. I need to swap this out with some PMS colors, but I'm going to let Adobe Illustrator do all the hard work for me. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, move this guy out of the way, and select my artwork. In order to find the recolor artwork feature, what you want to do is come over to the edit menu, scroll down till you find edit colors, and then choose recolor artwork. I'll click on that once, and that brings up the recolor artwork window. I'm going to hit cancel, and I'm going to show you another way to bring it up. While you have your artwork selected, you want to click on this button over here in your control panel. It's the recolor artwork button, and it brings up the window right away. There's another way to bring it up by coming over here to the swatches panel, but that's when you're working with color groups, so I'm going to skip that for now. There's a lot of information going on in here, but we're just going to focus on a couple things. Over here in this section, this is showing you the original colors that are in your selected artwork. Over here you have some thumbnails of the colors you're going to be using to replace the original colors. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to double click on this thumbnail, and we're going to change this to a bright yellow color. And When I click OK, it's showing you a yellow thumbnail of the color we're using to replace this orange anytime this orange appears in our selected artwork. So we used to have some orange letters here and now it's being replaced with this yellow color. Alright, if you want to reset things in here, you want to hover over this guy. It's showing you it's going to get colors from the selected artwork. So when you click on it, it gets the original colors from your selected artwork. Alright, so let's come down here towards the bottom. and I'm going to hover over this guy here. It's showing me that it's going to limit the color group to the colors in a swatch library, but we don't have a swatch library applied to this just yet. So I'm going to click on this, go to color books, and I'm going to choose Pantone Solid Coated because I know this is what my screen printer wants. Over here it shows that the Pantone Solid Coated has been applied. So you probably didn't notice because it's a pretty good match, but if you keep an eye on my artwork over here, I'm going to uncheck this recolor art button. When I uncheck it, now it's showing you the process version. I'm going to click on it again and now it's showing you the spot color version. Alright, so let's take a look at these thumbnails. I'm going to double click on this guy and it's showing me it applied Pantone 7579C. I'll click OK. I double click on this one. It has Pantone 1365C. I'll click OK. When I double click on this blue one, it's showing Pantone 3005C. Now if I were to do something crazy like come over here and maybe choose a green color and then click OK. Let's see what's going on here. We have a green color swatch that is replacing the blue anytime it appears in this artwork right here. And that's why you see this green color in here now. All right, I'm going to come back over here to reset this so it's getting the original colors from the selected art. We'll come over here, choose color books, solid coded, and it's already done. If you're wondering about this white swatch, Adobe Illustrator will protect your white or your black colors. If you wanted to swap out that white for a different color, all you have to do is click right here in this area and then choose yes. I actually want to leave it as white, so I'm going to choose no and then click OK. All right, now I'm going to zoom in on this guy a bit, double click on my artwork, target this object, go into the appearance panel, target my fill, and I already see a difference in my thumbnail. I'm going to come over here, shift click on it, and it's showing me that that's Pantone 1365C applied to this fill. And if we come to this stroke, I'm going to shift click on that one. And it's showing me 3005C is being applied to this stroke. All right, so it looks like all our work is done. I'll go ahead and zoom out. At this point, what I would normally do is select my artwork, come over here to the window menu, scroll down until I find Inquest, and then choose Separations Panel. When I click on that, it's actually going to bring up the separations panel right here. Now, Inquest 
is a plugin by Astute Graphics. If you want to try this guy out, you can try it out for free for 14 days at astutegraphics.com. I'm going to come over here to this flyout menu. And right here it has the option for release separations as black. I'm actually going to uncheck that so I could separate it into the colors and you'll see what's going on a little bit easier. All right, I'm going to click on generate separations. And let me zoom out a little bit. It actually created a new document with those artboards and the existing artwork. But we have some options over here in the separations panel. I don't want to see these process plates, so I'm going to go ahead and turn those guys off. Now we're just focused on the spot colors for the artwork we're going to be sending out to the screen printer. I'm going to click on release separations. Now let's see what happened over here in the layers panel. All right, over here, InkQuest did a lot of work for us. We have one layer right here with the printer's marks, so I'll turn that off. We have these other layers here, and they're even labeled for us already. So this is Pantone 1365C. Right here we have 3005C, which is that blue. And then in the bottom, we have Pantone 7579C, which is that rich orange color we assigned to it earlier. And there you have it, folks. That's how I use the recolor artwork feature in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.